saying things people already know out loud is tight. Get out of my head! You park in front of your house, I park in front of my house. This is... Hey! If you don't stop, I will contact the Usher. What's up, everyone? It's Adam from FWCI. We're up to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This is the fourth movie in this franchise. I feel like I'm tearing through this franchise really, really fast, which is great. Thank you guys for all the support. The views on these videos have been fantastic, and I have you guys to thank for that. So I appreciate it. As you can see, I received a legit Slytherin t-shirt i had to bust it out for the reaction what's gonna happen with my beloved oh speaking of house slytherin my uh local um supermarket has some promotion where if you spend amount, enough money there you get these harry potter i think they call them charms these little things i went down there today bought a bunch of stuff got one charm it's the only one i've got and who did i get Professor Snape, hell yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad I got that, even though these things are absolute garbage. And I also got bought for me a legit Harry Potter uh, chocolate frog with a wizard collectible card inside. So I know they've got one good jump in them. So I'm going to be careful with this. Got him. Ooh, he's a nice one as well. It's got like some ricey bits in there. All right, let me put this down. Well done, jelly bean people. Who did I get? Garrick Ollivander. Wow, that's a really cool card as well. It's like one of those weird, creepy ones that like move when you like look at it. I don't know who this guy is. Is he from House Slytherin? Man, that card, that card is creepy as fuck and I want to snipe one immediately. Get me a Professor Snape collectible card why why do i not have one already i'm gonna go on ebay but let's check out harry and the goblet of fire um last time we saw our heroes uh, no i'll talk about the real heroes <laughs> harry and um hermione they were doing some uh back to the future type shit then the true hero snape jumped in and saved the children like the absolute savior of children that he is he clearly is he's been leading house Slytherin like an absolute man he's been very humble while dumbledore's been fucking with all the points in the earlier movies i hope we get more of the um uh the houses in this one here they that kind of went a bit off to the side in the last one but let's check out harry potter and the goblet of fire wow the dursley's house is really um looking in rough shape hello snake what are you doing there are there Professor Snape action figures? <gasps> Are there, is there like a Professor Snape Hot Toys figure? For those who don't know, Hot Toys are like highly detailed action figures, but they're like uh, a foot tall, maybe more, and they're crazy. Who's this old codger? No, I'm Lord Voldemort. I only meant Voldemort. Oh God! Without. No! Oh, Peter Pettigrew. <gasps> what is that tiny little shriveled hand? And it will be done. Exactly as I said. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Good. Let's gather our own comrades. Okay, so no mystery this time as to who Voldemort's, um... Uh, you know, guy is on the inside that's trying to help him out. <laughs> <laughs> Voldemort is doing his thing. Jesus. Harry. Bad dream. When Where are you, Harry? Snaggy. Come on, Ron. Your mother says breakfast's ready. All right, so Harry gets to have a sleepover at the Weasley's shanty that they live in. Holy crap. This is Amos Diggory, everyone. Works with me at the Ministry. And this strapping young lad must be Cedric, am I right? Yes, sir. This way. Oh. The ladies are interested in Cedric. We don't want to be late. Come on, leave me there now. Get yourself into a good position. Um. Why are they all standing around that manky old boot? <laughs> yes, manky old boot is exactly what I wanted to say. It's a port key. It's a port key. Ready? After. I'm with you, Harry. I don't know what the fuck's going on in this world either. So these people are um, Weasley's, the, the, the father Weasley's workmate and his son. Oh! Well, kid, 
Oh. I know who's winning the Quidditch World Cup. Draco Malfoy and the Slytherin State Warriors. <laughs> this is fucking crazy, man. That would be so cool. Home sweet home. Those twins are going to be in their 70s by the time we get to the last movie. <laughs> they are aging rapidly. They're getting very tall. What the hell is this, man? What? <laughs> is that the MCG of, like, Quidditch? If it rains, you'll be the first to know. Ha! <laughs> Good one. By personal invitation of Cornelius Fudge himself. Don't boast, Draco. You can boast a little bit, Draco. I can't remember his name. <laughs> Aloysius is what comes to mind, but I know that's not... <laughs> that's not Aloysius. Are they Slytherin boys? Oh, or just... They're wearing green scarves. Is this just... It's just an Irish thing, okay. Oh, it's the World Cup. Oh, fuck, it's not houses. God damn it. All right, come on, Australia. Let's do it. Has Australia got any wizards? Crumb. Crumb, where is a wizard who killed my mother? <laughs> Crumb! I'm going for Crumb! Crumb, I could still see his terrible gaze. <laughs> Look at him. Crumb is the man. Crumb is gonna fuck this fucking competition up. There's no one like Crumb. Crumb? Dumb Crumb. It's like a bad. <gasps> Dumb Crumb? How dare you? More than an athlete. He's an artist. There you go, Ron. Now you're making sense. We've got to get out of here. Now! Oh! Terrorist attack on the Quidditch tournament? Fuck! It is your responsibility! We didn't even get to see Crumb! Walder Frey, what have you done? Oh, Jesus Christ, is that the clan? What the fuck is going on here? I'd say where's Ezra Miller when you need him, but... I don't think anybody wants or needs anything from Ezra Miller anymore. Harry, bro. You are really good at falling over at the wrong fucking time. Oh, damn. The 422nd annual Quidditch World Cup ended in fucking tragedy. Is this Voldemort's crony? Hey, I know that guy. Pretty sure people are pulling their hair out because I'm not like, hey, that's Doctor Who. I remember him from Jessica Jones when he played um, Kilgrave, which, by the way, Great series, very underrated bad guy, David Tennant, 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 whatever his name is, was really good in that show. And he's wearing a duster, which is the coolest thing a person could wear, so I'm sold so far. Oh, ambush. I didn't see his face. It was Kilgrave. Kilgrave works for Voldemort. <laughs> Anybody else think that there's something kind of reassuring about a giant skull with a snake flying out the mouth, hovering in the sky? It makes me feel sort of, you know, just safe, you know? Just the dribbles. It's not all good. Just the dribbles. Thanks. Yeah, Harry's got cash. He had a whole vault full of golden coins. Harry, making eyes at this new chick, huh? Anything sweet for you, dear? <laughs> Timing on that one. All right, what's going on with the son? The son of the of old mate of Papa Weasley's work friend. No serious want to hear about this. What you saw at the World Cup. Mm, serious is still dream. floating around as well, isn't he? So Harry kind of knows what Voldemort's doing through the dreams. Is that what I get from that? Hagrid, have you been promoted to? Air traffic controller? <laughs> Whoa! There's something you don't see every day. <laughs> that is also a thing you do not see every day. <laughs> Holy shit, what is this? Now for those of you who do not know, the Triwizard Tournament brings together three schools Ooh. for a series of magical contests. From each school, a single student is selected to compete. Let's just ha get how Slytherin to compete. These contests are not for the faint-hearted. Draco, you're up. Madam Maxine. 
Madame Maxine, damn. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bloody hell. The ratio just improved for you, buddy. I'm, that's one big one. Wow, there she is. Is she gonna turn into Lady D Demiscrew or whatever it is from Resident Evil? <laughs> Hermione, not impressed one bit. Please greet the proud sons of Durmstrang and the High Master Igor Kakarov. Oh. That ratio just went significantly down for you, Ron. These dudes look like men. Snape! What are you doing here? Keeping watch over everything. Crumb! Crumb, where is the wizard who killed my mother? Give me crumb or give me death. In the last movie, we got constant Lupin memes. This one, it's crumb. So we got the boys' school, the girls' school, and then the um, co-ed school. Three extremely dangerous tasks. Wicked. <laughs> to explain all this, we have the head of the Department of International Magical Cooperation, Mr. Bartimus Crouch. Bartimus Crouch, what the hell? The fuck was that? And that Mad -Eye as well. Mad-Eye Moody. Dark wizard catcher. Arthur Seldon Azkaban and Phil, thanks to him. Oh. He's supposed to be mad as So he's like Dog the Bounty time. Hunter. Oh, he's mad. Well, yeah, yeah, he's Dog the Bounty Hunter. He's also mad as a hatter. What's that he's drinking, do you suppose? I don't know, but I don't think it's pumpkin juice. Mississippi moonshine. <laughs> Homemade. The ministry has concluded that for their own safety, no student under the age of 17 should be allowed to put forth their name for the Triwizard Tournament. This decision That's is rubbish. rubbish! Yeah, that is rubbish. Hang on, how old is Draco before I commit to whether or not it's rubbish? <laughs> So that's the Goblet of Fire, is it? The Goblet of Fire! Thanks, Dumbledore. See? I can be nice to Dumbledore. Ministry malcontent. And your new defense against the dark arts teacher. Oh, Christ. Because Dumbledore asked me. End of story. Goodbye, the end. <laughs> Why am I not surprised Dumbledore has got a relationship with this fucking weirdo? Now, the Minister says you're too young to see what these curses do. I say different! <laughs> oh, um... Oh, Kaja can see at the back of his head. I'm here across classrooms! So. When I was in year three, there was a girl not paying attention, and my teacher threw the. He, he wasn't even angry, he just did it to, like, kind of give her a scare and, like, snap her back into it. Threw a, a blackboard duster across the room, and he wanted it to, like, hit the wall near her desk, and instead it got her smack in the fucking face. Everybody was laughing, he was horrified, she was crying. It was a fucking great day at school. Gojo. Imperial! Spider with wings? I'd fuck it. Aw, oh, poor Ron. Come on, he's got history with spiders. Hey, hey, get it off of his face. This is not funny. Nah, not, that is inappropriate. That is inappropriate uh, conduct for a teacher to put that on a student's face. Ron's... That was pretty funny though. Neville, go to the bathroom, mate. Long bottom, is it? This is the cruciatus curse. Correct! Correct! Come! Come! Neville, what are you in for? Hey, don't torture that sexy spider. That was as uncomfortable as the scene with the pig in Marvel's Black Widow movie. Oof, that was rough. The killing curse. Only one person is known to have survived it. Huh? And he's sitting in this room. Yeah, holy shit. Is that what Voldemort tried to use on Harry? The killing curse? Good frog. Mm, really good frog. 
Yeah, you right there, Neville? Neville? Yeah. Son? You all right? Mum, we'll have a cup of tea. I want to show you something. Neville, maybe... Unlike Harry, going with creepy strangers is not your best option. Now, was that crying out of the stained glass, or was that just the... Uh, the rain. Alright. The workmate's son is in. This is an age line. Dumbledore drew it himself. So? So, a genius like Dumbledore couldn't possibly be fooled by a dog as pathetically dim-witted as an aging potion. Yeah, but that's why it's so brilliant. It's so is that why they look 30 years older? Because it's an aging potion. <laughs> ah, oh, Fred, George. <laughs> that was unnecessary, and you guys are about to fucking die. Yes! <laughs> Alright, boys. <laughs> yes! It's like Dumbledore's spell ain't shit. <laughs> Alright, maybe it is shit. Is the shit? Oh! You said, you said! <laughs> ah! Alright, you want a piece of <laughs> That's what the actors look like <laughs> in real life. <laughs> Oh, crumb! Crumb. I pray for you, crumb. You should come and join House Slytherin. Oh. Ooh, crumb making eyes like Hermione? Ah! Oh. Go on, Hermione. Do it. Go be crumbs, lady. Oh, so is this thing kind of like the sorting hat in terms of like it <clears throat> it makes the decision as to who is going to compete? It should just say Crumb wins. The Dermstadt champion is Victor Crumb! Yeah! Victor, Victor, Victor! I don't know why I'm singing that in like a Russian accent. Come on, Victor. Victor Crumb, multiple time champion. It's Fleur Delacour! Fleur Delacour. Congratulations, Fleur. The Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory. Hmm. How long has he been going to Hogwarts for? Was he around in the background during all this other shit? This vessel of victory. The Triwizard Cup. Mm. What's up, Snape? What are you sensing? What are your Snape? What's your Snape tingle telling you? Oh, another name? Harry Potter. <laughs> and he doesn't even want to be in it. No. Doesn't that make it the Quad Wizard Cup? Snape, help him. Help Harry. Give him your expertise. Obviously Dumbledore's, uh, not Dumbledore, fucking Voldemort is pulling some strings. Trying to get Harry into a compromising position. With that being said... Harry, did you put your name in the cupboard of the fire? No, sir. You asked one of the oldest students to do it for you? No, sir. You're absolutely sure? Yes, yes sir. Or is Dumbledore acting like he's not just trying to get Harry in the tournament because he's fucking crooked? Mr. Potter has no choice. He is... As of tonight, a Triwizard's champion. Man, Harry just wants to live a normal fucking life and he gets dragged into so much shit. Every fucking movie it's like, by the way Harry, you're destined for this or you've got this inside you or this is like... Every, he just can't catch a break. If we are to truly discover the meaning of these events, perhaps we should, for the time being, let them unfold. <laughs> Snape. <laughs> Offer him up as bait? I mean, Potter is a boy, not a piece of meat. I agree. Oh, he's a boy. Is that why you left him with the Dursleys, you crooked old bitch? I know there's a lot of love for McGonagall in the comments, but that was inexcusable. They are fucked. I didn't ask for this to happen, Ron. Okay? You're being stupid. Yeah, that's me. Wrong way, he's like Harry Potter's stupid friend. <laughs> yeah, it's somewhat true. Piss off. 
<gasps> wow, Ron. Again, we're in like crazy wizard world. Who knows what the fuck is true? Why would Harry suddenly like lie about that? <laughs> mm, hello. I'm Rita Skeeter. Rita Skeeter. Lovely Rita. I like her. Muscles mask. Harry's hair looks fucked, by the way. Wow. Rita Skeeter. What are you doing? This is cozy. Uh, it's a broom cupboard. Seems inappropriate. You feel right at home then. <laughs> Vastly more emotionally mature than yourself. To have mastered spells that you wouldn't attempt in your dizziest daydreams. <laughs> of course, you're no ordinary boy of 12, are you? 14. The story's legend. Do you think it was the trauma of your past that made you so keen to enter such a dangerous tournament? Uh, no, I, I didn't enter. <gasps> of course you didn't. <laughs> How do you think they'd feel? Proud or concerned that your attitude shows at best a pathological need for attention? At worst, a psychotic death wish. <laughs> My god, this woman is fucking... Talk about psychotic, she's psychotic. Mmm, this room's serious. One o'clock this Saturday night, and make sure you're alone. Serious. P.S. Ah! The bird bites. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me about this dream of yours. You mentioned Wormtail and Vortivore, but who was the third man in the room? Mmm, right. Kilgrave. No, um... Voldemort's giving him a job today. Good looking guy in a duster. <laughs> the Death Eaters at the World Cup, your name rising from that goblet. These are not just coincidences. Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. Again, under the Dumbledore regime, Hogwarts is not fucking safe. People die in this tournament. I'm not ready for this serious. You don't have a choice. It's probably good that they upped the age to 17 then if people are dying in this tournament. Dean was told by Pavati that Please don't ask me to say it again. Hagrid's looking for you. Well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl! <laughs> I'm not an owl. <laughs> what a great line. Ron, why are you being such a bitch in this movie? But have you combed your hair? As a matter of fact, I have. You might let it try the same thing now and again. What is going on, Hagrid? Are you on a, going on a date? Or swear a lamp. Oh, yeah, they're both giants. <laughs> Why so tense, Potter? My father and I have a bet, you see. I don't think you're going to last ten minutes in this tournament. <laughs> he disagrees. He thinks he won't last five. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> He's vile and cruel, and you're pathetic. Watch it, Potter. Oh no, you don't, Sonny! Potter stinks, didn't you hear that? <gasps> what the fuck? Stinking! Cowardly! Scummy! Professor Moody! Yeah, Professor Moody, you gotta go, mate. Oh, my father will hear about this! Bullying is a real thing, people. And so is child abuse, by the way. Yeah, you, you, you got problems, Professor. I wouldn't even bother telling you what's in there. You wouldn't believe it if I did. As for Crumb, his head may be filled with sawdust. Hey. But Karkaraz is not. They'll have a strategy. Crumb is And the you future. can bet that it will play to Crumb's strengths. <clears throat> Crumb has all the strengths. Everything is a Crumb strength. All right, so this is Tri-Wizard Tournament number one. Tens you off a flare, there you go. Thank you very much. Running a friggin' gambling ring there, Fred or George, one of the two. Battle of Dragon. <laughs> young, young. Oh my god. Rita oh. Skeeter. You fucking creeper. <laughs> this tent is for champions and friends. Whoa. The Clash of Titans, Skeeter versus Crumb. The Chinese fireball. Ooh. Crumb ain't scared. 
The Hungarian Horntail. Oh, the Grumpy Boy. Um. Christ, man. Expelliarmus. Try that one. You won, Terry! You won! Accio Firebolt! Yeah, do something, Harry. Wingardum Leviosa. <laughs> I'm Harry. <laughs> I don't think that's how you play. <laughs> and you knocked over Snape. <laughs> and Rita. <laughs> Please tell me Rita was in House Slytherin in the books. You gonna go back and get the egg or what's going on? Oh shit. Oh. This is a dangerous goddamn tournament, man. <laughs> oh, that took it out. So now Harry just gets to roll on back to the arena and be like, egg. Yay! Where's nearly headless Nick and the fat lady? <laughs> Are they clapping? Who wants me to open it? Yeah! You want me to open it? Yeah! <laughs> Go on, Harry, work the crowd, mate. <laughs> the bloody hell was that? All right, everyone, go back to your knitting, good. Support Potter. Oh, we are on the Potter train now, are we? Well, I, <clears throat> that looks absolutely amazing. All those like pieces of toast lined up there. It kind of reminds me of like school camp. There's something kind of comforting about that whole thing. And you know, Harry, you dumb motherfucker. Look at this. I can't believe it. She's done it again. Miss Granger, a plain but ambitious girl, seems to be developing a taste for famous this is wizards. Rita for sure, yeah. Her latest prey, <laughs> sources report, is none other than the Bulgarian bonbon Victor Kuhn. <laughs> <laughs> the Bulgarian bonbon. <laughs> Later. Go on. The fuck is your deal, Nigel? Nigel, no friends? Fucking weirdo. Told him I'd get him Harry's autograph. Ah, oh, run! <laughs> God damn it, mate. <laughs> Mum sent me a dress. Well, it does match your eyes. Is there a bonnet? <laughs> <laughs> dress robes. Dress robes? Why does Ron oh. keep getting sent embarrassing shit in the fucking lunchroom? <laughs> Is first and foremost a dance. Oh, the Yule Ball. I will not have you in the course of a single evening besmirching that name by behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. Try saying that five times faster. Behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. 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 George and Fred, fuck you. Inside every boy, a lordly lion prepared to prance, Mr. Weasley. Yes. Will you join me, please? <laughs> God damn it. Hasn't he had enough public humiliation for one day? <laughs> what is going on with Neville in this movie? He is not his usual goofy slapstick kind of self. Neville. Them some shoes, buddy. Why do they have to travel in packs? How are you supposed to get one on their own to ask them? <laughs> they, how do they travel in packs? You're talking about females? God damn it, Harry. You're a rock star, by the you way. You can't get a date, you can. I think I take the dragon right yeah. now. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, get one of these ones. They look like they know what they're doing. Joe was a tiny little fella, my dad. I could pick him up at the age of six with one hand and put him up in the dresser. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does that mean that Hagrid's dad is a muggle? I thought that was Hagrid's hand in her mouth then. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Hermione, become Hermione Crumb. That's what she's writing in that book. Mrs. Hermione Crumb over and over again. 
Deserved. I, I trust Snape. Hey. Oh, girl. Very well spotted. Can we follow Oh, Crumb is there, isn't he? <laughs> I know it's Snape. <laughs> Tell him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I won't be going alone because, believe it or not, someone's asked me. Crumb. Do you say so? Look, we've just got to grit our teeth. Potter, you're about to get a smack upside the head. <laughs> Do it. Oh! oh. <laughs> the only reason it's funny is because it's Snape. <laughs> if it was Dumbledore, I'd be calling child services. I'm sorry, but someone's already asked me. And... Well, I've, I've said I'll go for a Draco. It's Draco, isn't it? Ah, oh, please tell me it's Draco. Hi, Harry. I'm always like looking at them from behind. Harry, are you going to take a set of twins to the, whatever it was called, Murball? Yule Ball, was that it? <laughs> Ron, what has your mother got you wearing, mate? Jesus. Murder me, Harry. <laughs> Murder me. Ron is seriously into Hermione, isn't he? Is she going to be at this ball and she's going to look fucking amazing? Is that what's happening? <laughs> that one's like, oh, I don't want the guy in the creepy robe. Oh, who's this? She looks beautiful. Yeah, she does. Fit for a crumb, perhaps? Crumb, that's a hell of a robe you got going on there, mate. I'm digging the one shoulder fur number. No, absolutely not. Ron, <laughs> your life flashing before your eyes right now. <laughs> Filch, you know, you still creep me out. Oh, <laughs> Hagrid in his suit again. Ron, how'd that feel, mate? <laughs> I think he's got a bit more than friendship on his mind. Ron, you jealous son of a bitch. Are you going to ask me to dance or not? No. <laughs> I don't think you should be trying to neg people, Ron. And not as a last resort! Well, that's, that's, I mean, that's just completely off the point. She um, likes him back. Where have you been? Never mind, off to bed, both of you. Fuck, okay, okay. do what Hermione says. Get the fuck out of there, quick. Hey, Hagrid. Easy there, buddy. Lady Demiscrew will have your eyeball. Ooh, more dreams about Voldy? Step aside, Wormtails, so I can give our guest a proper greeting. I oh, know, we know what that means. What the fuck was that? Why did his eyes just flash green? I just got in. Me? What have you been doing, Neville? Danny Corey would go down as a hookup legend, joining Harvey Randolph, the inventor of the We're Out of Gas move, and Neville Longbottom, the inventor of the seemingly platonic sleepover that ends in dry humping and eventually insertion. Actually, we don't really talk at all. It is more of a physical being. Well, <laughs> okay. I just mean he's not particularly equacious. Mm -hmm. Mostly he watches me study. He likes to watch, does he? <laughs> In the most brutal way, they're almost cruel. Dumbledore's fine with that though. He's like, yep, I'll put my students in danger. It's not a bad place for a bar. Just take your egg and mull things over in the hot water. All right, so that's a hint. Needs to put the egg in water to get the clue. Ugh.
Hello, jacked mermaid. <laughs> See the six pack on that mermaid? What the hell, man? Oh, was it a dude? Is it a boy mermaid? Hello, moaning myrtle. What are you doing here? Hello, Harry. Oh, long time. Oh, that's what he did. The other boy. Mm, the handsome one. Why is moaning myrtle so flirtatious? Oh, well, go on. Open it. And she's kind of like in the bath with him as well. This is very, uh, it was very sexual in a way. It took Cedric ages to riddle it out. Almost all the bubbles were gone. Myrtle! You a sexually aggressive ghost? What the fuck? <sighs> she giving him a handy? Just there? I, tell you again. I don't know what to make of that whole scene, man. <laughs> What they call her, moaning myrtle? <laughs> now, if there's a Tibetan turnip that will allow me to breathe underwater for an hour, then great. But otherwise, I don't know about turnip, but you can always use gillyweed. <laughs> Neville, <laughs> Neville coming through in the clutch with the gillyweed. Where are they anyway? You seem a little tense, Harry. Do I? <laughs> Neville, read the fucking room, man. <laughs> Appreciate the help, but god damn it. There is some structures at Hogwarts, bro. Look <laughs> at these things. Oh, gillyweed. He's got gills now. And flippy feet. Holy shit. And webbed hands. Crumb has just got superior, um lung capacity so he's just doing this El au natural he doesn't need any gillyweed shouldn't like the professors be like helping harry with this since it's a school competition shouldn't snape be like potter listen take the gillyweed become part fish find floating Dead children, is that Hermione and Ron? What the fuck is that? Win it for Hogwarts Potter. <laughs> Crom is a shark! Yes! <laughs> that is how oh is he an agar an araga blah 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 blah? The one where you can turn into an animal sometimes? Crumb, 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 crumb. Come on, Harry Otter, get up there. What is this shit? Harry. All right. All right. That was a decent showing there, Potter. So why are all these people in danger for this thing? They're not even in the competition. Gabriel, Gabriel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, Ron, but but seriously, what the fuck is going on with this competition? The winner is Mr. Diggy! Yeah! Um, oh, no, it's this guy. This Mr. Potter would have finished first had it not been for his determination to rescue not only Mr. Weasley, but the others as well. We've agreed to award him second place. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. God, more Dumbledore bullshit. Yeah, Draco knows this is fucking bullshit. Man, uh, uh, Dumbledore, why? He's he's in Harry's corner. He's in Harry's pocket. That is dodge. Dodge, dodge, dodge. What the hell is he drinking? It's probably not, you know, a bit of, a bit of brandy, a bit of sherry, a bit of port. Some sort of potion. How many casualties has the Triwizard Championship tournament had in the past? Oh. Sherbet lemon. Right, what? 
hidden chamber of dodginess as Dumbledore got hidden in his office here. Is it a ten-year plan to abolish House Slytherin once and for all? Hello, father. Bug. No, son of mine. That's who his son is, really? I think it's unwise for you to linger over these dreams, Harry. I think it's best if you simply... Forget? Cast them away. But they are happening, Dumbledore. Come on, Snape, give him some wisdom. Congratulations, he your performance in the Black it. Lake was inspiring. Gillyweed, am I correct? Something found in your everyday garden. Nor is this. Hey, hook him up. Three drops of this, and you know who himself would spill his darkest secrets. The use of it on a student is regrettably forbidden. However, <laughs> regrettably, I haven't stolen anything. Don't lie. Neville stole from Don't Snape. Me. He's not afraid of him anymore. Thought Snape was going to hook him up with something to help him through the final challenge. <laughs> is that, I think it's Crab with crumb written on his forehead. <laughs> Love it. They will be the first to enter the maze, followed by Mr. Crumb. Crumb. Oh, find the cup if you can, but be very wary. You could just lose yourselves along the way. Fucking, it's a very ominous little threat there, Dumbledore. Holy shit. This is a hell of a maze, man. <laughs> Can't we Wingardum Leviosa ourselves and get up above that maze? This is fucking, <laughs> this is rough, man. Crumb fears no maze. How did this chick get in? She's been useless the whole th <laughs> the whole way through. Did Crumb just kill her? Crumb. We might still have a bit of that shark DNA swimming through his veins. Yes. <sighs> I mean, I get why Harry wants to win, but he didn't give a shit about this for a long time. I'm surprised he isn't just like saying, "Look, man, just have it." <laughs> People change in the maze. Is he gonna let this guy get mauled to death or is he gonna go after glory? Fame isn't everything, Potter. One, two, three! three. Alright, boys, well done. Who is this? Riddle? Why do I feel like Voldemort is lurking around this? Where are we? Yeah, that's where the old man was at the start. <gasps> Shit. Ah! Ah! What is it? Get back to the cop! Ah! Baby Voldemort? Avada ah! No! no! Cedric! Whoa! See you later, Cedric. What is that, man? That looks... <laughs> this is your fearsome Voldemort. No. Every night of the enemy, the Dark Lord shall rise again. Shit, so finally his plan works. That's a nice haircut. I will admit that. Work on the nose. This is not fucking good, man. <laughs> it's finally his plan. I've been shitting all over his plan from like three movies. Finally it works. Crap! Damn it! Oh, that's Crab and Goyle's parents. The uh, Slytherin descendants. Terminator 2 hand, huh? I can touch you now. Paging Chris Hansen. Pick up your one, Potter. 
I said pick it up. Get up, get up. <laughs> so Voldemort's just got an ego. And now he's just like, nah, you didn't win. <laughs> Is he just a terrible sport? Especially your filthy muggle mother. Jesus, Voldemort. What you beef you got with Harry's mum? I want to see the light leave your eyes! <laughs> Alright, Stormfront. Take it easy. <laughs> Jesus. He's way more animated and verbal than I expected. I thought he'd be all more like... Uh, blah, blah, but he's got quite a bit of uh, charisma. Yeah, Harry, I don't know if this is a great idea, mate. That's the old man from the start of the movie. That was Cedric. Take my body back to my father. Sure, man. Do my best. Got out of there. Did he take the body with him though? Like old mate asked at the worst possible time. He did. Y'all cheering a dead body there, guys. That's the right reaction. Here we go. All right. It was just taking a second for it to kick in. Got it. Y'all act surprised like this whole tournament isn't a tournament of death. You nearly killed Ron, Hermione, somebody else. And another one, I think. Would have been four. I feel like that moment would have hit a lot harder if I hadn't only known these characters for the last, like, hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> and I mean for a little bit of that. What was he like? Who? The Dark Lord. Ah! What was it like? Have we got another crooked defender of the dark arts teacher? I would not be surprised. <laughs> really? You didn't notice that you were out? Of whatever the fuck this is? I would have told you to open the egg underwater if I hadn't told him first myself! Do you think Neville Longbottom the witless wonder? <laughs> you put my name in the Goblet of Fire. Oh, you fuck. bewitched Crumb, but... <laughs> you won because I made it so, Butter. You ended up in that graveyard tonight because it was meant to be so. And now the deed is done. Is this because he wants to take out Voldemort? Because he's a dog the bounty hunter? Silenced the great Harry Potter. Is this Snape to the rescue? Dumbledore, finally. Oh, he said, when he said, I, you wouldn't believe me if I told you, I was like, is Dumbledore, is um, Voldemort in there? You all right, Alistair? I'm sorry, Albus. That's moody, but then who's... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, it's him! It's Kilgrave! <laughs> God, he's giving me vibes of morph from the X-Men there. Holy shit. I think they'll find they're missing a prisoner. Mm. I'll be welcomed back like a hero. Perhaps. Personally, I've never had much time for heroes. Snape loves his job. Especially when he gets to get, like, up close and personal. Who was it? Um, Peter Pettigrew last time? He's like, just give me a fucking... Give me a reason, motherfucker. I'll do it. <laughs> Now, I think, therefore, you have the right to know exactly how he died. Cedric Diggory was murdered All by right. Lord Voldemort. Good. Tell the truth, Dumbledore. Good to see that. Oh, oh. this is real. Hermione's getting the crumb numb. The crumb numb? <laughs> oh. Double smooches for Ron. Good work, Carrot Nuts. Crumb. He's going to be president one day. President Crumb. Book it. Ah, oh, I get it. The ladies have the flying chariot. The lads have a pirate ship. 
Got it. Submarine. Got it. So that was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire with the Triwizard Tournament. This was a very, uh, this is a very different movie compared to the last ones. We've, I, I'm, I really like the way they're building the story here. Voldemort's kind of been in the background for the last few, but now we finally get to see him. He's back. Some serious long-term storytelling with Voldemort in this series here. But I liked uh, Crumb. Crumb was the man. I liked the idea of the boys, the boys' school, the girls' school, the co-ed school. That was very interesting. You know what? I didn't see the twist with, um, uh, what's his name? This guy. I didn't see the twist with him uh, at the end. I did not see that coming. I thought he was a genuinely misunderstood, wanted to help Harry. But now we know that the only reason he was helping Harry is because the cup was a portal, whatever it is. And uh, that sent him to Voldemort. So pretty genius plan by Voldemort to uh, get Harry in there. He should not have been in that competition at all, to be honest. I'm still worried why the hell Ron was volunteered to be, um, you know uh potentially dead in these little tests when did he sign up for that what the fuck was going on with all that shit that was crazy we got a serious lack of draco in this one and we didn't even get much snape in this one either but i guess this is more about the um the school rivalry rather than the house rivalry dumbledore was in fine form in this movie he was actually doing things that i agreed with i still think he's as bent as a nine bob note but I do think that he was making a lot better decisions. He was being more transparent and he was being more of a leader than uh, in the past where he seemed to be a little bit more kind of in the shadows more than, you know, up the front kind of thing. I finally have something good to say about Dumbledore. Um, now, we've up. this is the fourth movie. So if I had to like not rank these, but in terms of the ones that I like the most, um... I don't know, I think I liked, I think I liked number two, the best, The Chamber of Secrets. That might be my favorite. I'm going to have to go back and rewatch and sort of revisit some of these movies and get reacquainted with it. Maybe I'll do a ranking video at the end. I am going to get into some Harry Potter pitch meeting reactions as well. So that'll be coming up once I finish the franchise. So I don't accidentally get any uh, spoilers and stuff like that. So there'll be a lot more Harry Potter content coming in the future after the series has finished as well. Because I'm fascinated by this world and uh, I'm very interested to see where this story progresses from here. I mean, Voldemort is now back. Hermione said everything's going to be different now. So can't wait to see what's next in the world of Harry Potter. Thank you guys for checking out this video and subscribing. I appreciate all the support. If you want to support the channel a little bit further, you can leave a super thanks down in the comments as well. Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.